I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and I am going to be giving you the 2023 forecast and predictions for this coming year. All right. So when I start looking at the, when I, I track the whole year, but then I'm going to kind of break it down and go through different components of it. But basically, I would love to say things are going to be so much better and so much lighter in 2023 not okay so here's the thing to be able to be prepared to be able to ride the wave because that's what's happening we got lots of waves coming of ups and downs a lot of critical things happen and the most important thing is the clearer we are within of our own wounding our own misperceptions the the places of pain and discomfort the easier it will be to navigate through these times that are that will be presenting. I do want to remind people, we are what's in called the new paradigm. The precipice of the new paradigm is happening. It's the new world, new earth. And in order for the shift and transformation to occur globally for all of humanity, whatever is not love is going to come to the surface. And that's why we are experiencing all the upheaval. That's why we're experiencing all the earth changes, you know, the climate changes, the natural uh, disasters that are happening and that are affecting all of humanity. It's affecting the water, it's affecting food, it's affecting the critters, you know, all the animals, it's affecting all life on planet earth. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so let me just say this. If we were so aware that we could have a little like a word to telling us, oh, you just need to open your heart and feel love and stop judging, stop making wrong. You need to be, not be a victim anymore. And we could do that. Then we wouldn't have these big experiences that we are having. Unfortunately, sometimes we have to get the rug pulled out from underness. We have to go into crisis in order for shift to change. When I was shown and seen this time back in 1976, I saw what's happening right now. I've been waiting for it. And if we could uh, literally be able to shift our lives just by understanding something, we, we, we would, but that's not what's up. So I was also seen and shown that in order for change to happen, we have to go into crisis, unfortunately, okay? I mean, I would love it if we didn't, but we do, people. You know, we it, that's what it takes. Look at your own lives. Look at what happens in your world. What makes you change? Crisis, okay? Helps us to come together. We bond. We begin to create union, co, you know, co-creating union, community, rather than separation and believing we're all separate, okay? So coming now to what's going to be happening in 2023. All right, so as I'm watching that whole year long, we are going to plant, like we come into January, it, uh, it begins kind of light, light. There's some lightness. And then I see more of a plunging into more of a deeper energy, which has to do with, okay, there's going to be more, um, uh, uh, when you call like uh, earth stuff, uh, you know, the, 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 the snows, the rains, the things of that nature, the weather, 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 weather things are happening. There's going to be some really intense dark energies happening there. It's going to affect a lot of humanity. Like right now, there's people that have been without electricity, people without water. I mean, there's snows, there's freezing, there's all these conditions, weather conditions that are affecting the well-being of people. Okay, so I see uh, more of that happening. Actually, I'm seeing that happening uh, in cycles throughout the the entire year. So there'll be more intensities, more. Um, damage happening, you know, more of the hurricanes and the, the different earth changes, the earth frequencies, the patterns that are happening on the earth itself. Um, and yeah, and there's also going to be more um, wiping out of, of different uh, species, so to speak. Like there's a lot of energies, a lot of be, uh, creatures, animals in the animal kingdom and the, all the different frequencies of the of life on planet earth a lot of things are going to be um not necessarily wiped out but a lot of clearing a lot of loss of of different critters different animal frequencies different uh, uh the beings like uh the in the in the oceans and the 
you know, all the frequencies, the foul, birds, everything's going to, yeah, everything, yes, all things are going to be affected, okay? There's also going to be uh, things like when we think about foliage or trees or uh, that kind of energy too, there's going to be more uh, thing like for when it, for example, when a fire happens, it burns out, okay? Burns trees down, okay? So that's what I mean is that that energy of the foliage, the the nature, things that na nature that have to do with uh, providing the oxygen for the planet. You know, like when you look at the Amazon and how that energy is shifting and changing, which is also contributing to what's happening on the planet. You know, you put everything coming out of balance. So as it gets even more out of balance, even more devastation is going to be happening. Okay. Again, I'm reminding you, we can face things much easier when we unravel and clear what's inside of us. Okay. So we can literally be in the eye of a tornado, so to speak, while everything is falling apart and still have some semblance of peace, some semblance of, you know, joy and happiness within. And the more we hold that, the more we echo that out into the world for those who don't have that kind of support or that kind of understanding and are feeling very victimized, feeling very terrified. Okay, so we are those that can hold that more light, that frequency of pure love and light and hold it for all of humanity. Okay, because there's going to be major shifts and changes. All right, so now as I'm looking at, that's like the, the earth patterns, the weather patterns. It's just going to be more of what we've been experiencing and it's not going to go away, people. Okay, there's a there's shifting happening. There's changes that are not going to stop. So you just need to be aware of that, right? And know that it's going to happen. And not to make it wrong, but this is part of the the sheathing that has to happen in the new paradigm. Okay, it's bringing everything to the surface. Okay, now this coming year is going to be a bigger year of exposure. So what I mean by that is. The frequency of negativity, the frequency of greed, the frequency of evil, the frequency of dark, black energies, you know, all that really gnarly, ugly stuff that's been hidden away. Things, for example, like, um, um, like the thing, uh, what we call, uh, like people, like, what was it? Hang on, sorry. It's like the pedophile stuff, the, the traffic, human trafficking stuff the sexual energy stuff that's all doing damage, severe damage to the children and, and different peoples. All of this is what I, is what I call the, the darkness. This is the energy of negativity. This is the energy frequency of, of evil energies. These are frequencies that are gonna be even more exposed. It's gonna be becoming more visible. People are gonna be understanding, seeing even more, but this is, this is what has to happen. Think about this. If we hold a frequency over the new, what's called the new paradigm, and just imagine this light frequency is shining, not just planet Earth, but in the universe itself, okay? But on the planet itself, the Earth is also shifting and changing. The light frequency is getting brighter and brighter. So when we have darkness hidden, you know, that's been in hiding, let's just say this is some of that evil energy, okay? It's been hidden. It's always existed but it's been hidden. Now it's getting exposed. So now we're seeing this black being, you know, parts of it coming up through, okay? It's like, oh my goodness, look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness, even more. So what's happening is we've had years of the new paradigm shining on the planet, the earth itself shifting and changing. So the blackness is coming up. It's coming up through the earth itself, whatever blackness is penetrated into the earth and the blackness that's inside of humanity all that negative, evil, greed, hatred, all that intense fanaticism, all that black, black, black energy, things that have to do with um, the, the, the energy frequencies of Satanism, satanic energies, black magic, voodoo, sorcery, all these black energies, greed, you know, hatred, uh, prejudice, all these energies are now really coming up. And what that means is, it's going to seem as though more there's more prejudice. It's going to seem as though there's more hatred because the black has to come to the surface in order for the light to penetrate it, to dissolve it, neutralize it, so it can turn back into light. Okay, that's the that's what this is all about. Everything we are experiencing, it's not to punish us or traumatize us or or, or you know hurt us. It's like 
whatever blackness we all have, we have to bring it to the surface. This is our jealousies, our envies, our insecurities, feeling we're not loved, feeling we don't matter. All of these energies in our subconscious are coming to the surface. And it's going to present in ways that make us feel like we're being victimized, like we're being punished, like something being done to us. That's not what's happening. Your soul levels are pulling opportunities to you so that this black, your unconscious black, can come to the surface, be exposed, be healed and cleared so you can live in the true essence of you, which is pure love and light. Okay, the frequency of light. We are that in the very core of our being. Whatever is not of love and light is going to come to the surface. I promise. All right. This is the big year for that. Okay. So everything of the new paradigm, just imagine a lighter light happening. Imagine a beautiful light shining on the earth. Imagine the earth itself literally spinning in a different frequency of pure light. And again, it can't hold darkness in the light. Okay. So it's going to come to the surface. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to be intense. And most of humanity, because they don't have the awareness or the teachings of what's really happening, they're going to go down the rabbit hole. There's going to be massive amounts of people checking out, people dying. They don't want to be here anymore. They can't handle it. There's also going to be a wiping out of a lot of peoples in many, many different countries. We've got all these natural disasters that are happening. We've got more uh, famine, more... Um, Disease, well, yeah, it's already happened. Well, yeah, got it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that frequency of, of like, we got the famine, we got the pestilence, uh, the, you know, the diseases, the illnesses, all of those frequencies, people are going to be dying. They'll be checking out all over the planet. There's a thinning, a thinning that's going to be happening. You know, hunger, starvation, not just for human beings, but for the critters as well. On some level, all life is shifting into, whoa, whoa, what was that? Whoa. Okay, sorry. There's a, it's like almost like a purging is happening. Okay, so imagine this. If I'm holding this blackness inside, but I don't want to face it. Okay, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to know it. I just want to push that down, push it down, push it down. My body won't be able to handle the intensity. I'll have to check out. Okay, my something, illnesses, disease, something's going to happen where I'm going to check out because I don't want to face this. And here's the thing. This is coming up no matter what. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you live. I don't care what your beliefs are. Your blackness is coming up. Blackness is negativity. The darkness, the, you know, the places where our hearts been closed. Okay, it's not the love and light. Okay? It's dark black energy. So it has to come. So a lot of people will be checking out, you know, because there's a lot of like I'm, I'm being shown energy frequencies now, like, for example, people in different parts of the world, like let's just say even in like Africa and the Middle East, things, those places like that, uh, especially right now where there's a, like there's water shortages, there's famine, there's things are dying. There's an unconsciousness and a victim belief system in most of humanity where we believe we're being victimized. We believe things are happening to us. We don't have the teachings. We don't have the awareness. We don't know what's really happening. We are not being punished. I'm telling you right now, this is all soul energy. This is soul consciousness. This is the soul in its evolution. We all have blackness within. We all have the capacity to, to hurt, to maim, to torture. It just depends on the right circumstances. What we're doing is we're bringing all these frequencies up so that we can be done with those feelings or desires. We, we want revenge. We want retribution. We want to hurt others who seemingly hurt us. We want to cause harm. We want to undermine you know, all these prejudices, hating each other, hating people for the color of their skin or for their beliefs. Okay, So all of these things are being exposed. They have to be exposed. And what that's meaning is the world is changing. It's never going back to where it was. Get that. We are not going back. We're not going back to being asleep. We're not going back to the earth being, you know, having some weather patterns here and there that get bad. But no, we are talking upheaval is happening. Upheaval is happening to bring the blackness up. 
That's it. Okay. So people are going to be leaving the planet, dying. Yeah. Checking out. But again, we have severe unconsciousness people. We have severe asleep. We have severe uh, prejudice and, and the, uh, the frequency, you know, where people are fanatic, fanatical beliefs, you know, and then um, they carry those beliefs and then that hatred. And so all the hatreds come into the surface. So even more and more and more of that is coming to the surface. Okay. Again, it's going to be in waves. Like we'll have, like I said, we'll be plunging in January and we start coming up. And then in February, we ride through about the middle. Yeah. Riding through, we're coming up to the beginning and riding through of a more higher frequency. And then another plunge down into darkness coming in at the end of February into March. I see that or another really dark black energy, which means intensity, which means survival. People, more people will feeling that frequency of survival, uh, fear, anxiety. I want to say something about that. People, those of you who are here and listening, what's, what's really happening is the soul is bringing, bringing forth opportunity. We don't see it as opportunity. We see it as Oh, something being done to me. Okay. No, if you see your life, whatever, whatever you're going through as an opportunity to shift and move the more blackness out of you, then you will go through the emotions that are rising up. Okay. The fears, the anxieties, the worries, survival, pure survival. Okay. Feeling like you're going to die, feeling like you're going to starve to death, feeling like how are you going to feed your family? How are you going to take care of your family? So those survival things, issues are coming up. The key is go through the emotions. It's all about the emotions. We carry the emotions over from past lives and recreate. Okay. How long you want to do this? It's time. It's time. So I'm going to ask you now, no matter what you're experiencing, rather than going into poor me victim, why is this happening? I'm so scared. Go into the emotions of the terror, the fear of the anxiety, open, open your heart, keep your heart open to the experience, whatever that is, keep your heart open, find the yes to moving through. Like if I'm feeling like I'm in survival, I feel like I'm, I can't pay my rent. I'm going to, I'm going to get caught. I'm going to be homeless rather than spinning story, story, story. How does that make me feel? Go into my fear, go into my terror, go into that feeling of survival, whatever those emotions are, sadness, anxiety, worry, panic, all of it, let it move through. You're being asked to know yourself in these intense emotions so that you can be free to come back to the frequency of pure love and light, which is what everyone is in the core of their being. Everyone, not just a few or handful, everyone that has ever been, that is and shall be, this is us. Okay. That's it. So in order to live that, we got to go through it. So as you're going through your life experiences, remember your soul levels, your higher levels are bringing opportunity. Seemingly like, I, yeah, I feel like I'm being tortured, sucker punch. I feel like I'm being the rug pulled out. Yeah, it feels that way, but that's not what's up. Okay. How else are you going to get it? Remember I said, oh yeah, can you just, yeah, it's time. You're going to be, you know, you're going to have to go through some of these emotions. We're not going to go through it. We have to go through crisis. So we're getting, we're getting our butts kicked. Okay. So the key is right through whatever's happening in your life, go through the emotion of it, let it move out of your body. And what happens is, is you land more deeply in your own connection to that frequency of pure love and light. And you become the eye of the tornado where the world is in crisis falling apart. And you're still in a state of connectedness, oneness, feeling somehow join happy. Okay. We want to keep that heart open. That is key. All right. Now coming back to, <laughs> yeah, so we've got a lot. Okay. Coming back. Okay. So coming through March, we're going to go through some really dark energies in March. Yeah. It's like a wave thing. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Then we, okay. What is that now? What is that? What is that? Okay. Now I'm seeing a different color, different frequency in March. Okay. Kind of goes deep, deep, deep. And then, well, okay. So I'm seeing like that really intense black. And then all of a sudden, almost like in, in, there's a, a big lift into more of a frequency of light, but it's not quite light. I'm seeing it has a cloudiness. It's not like light, like joy, happy. It's a, okay. This is like shock. Okay. Hang on. Is this shock? Shock. Okay. So people, okay. So that black energy in March is going to cause a lot of shock for, for people being in shock. Okay. Shock. 
crisis and shock. All right, that, that rides for for a lot of people that will continue for for a while, several you know weeks and weeks. Some of you for longer, and there, but there's still um, uh, frequencies. There's still the up and down, the waves of energy. Okay, so that shocky frequency is going to continue for some people. Hang on, whoa, what was that? All the way through. Okay, hang on, through April, through into May. Okay, so probably more ending in April, beginning of May, some of that shocky energy will begin to subside. What that means is people are gonna feel traumatized. Not everyone, okay, but there's gonna be people who are gonna feel traumatized. And there's in trauma, there's that shock energy. So that's gonna be happening. The reason I'm seeing it <clears throat> like this is because it's gonna be on a pretty mass scale, meaning it isn't just gonna be a handful of people, it's gonna be you know societies of people, all right? So shocky frequency will be happening. Um, when we look at the frequency, yeah, coming, continuing out through the year, I just want to kind of map that out just to see. Okay, yes, yeah, so we go through there. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 okay. There's something else happening. Okay, so then we go, so February, March, April. Okay, then in April, there's some kind of flat bottoming dark energy. So we'll write, yeah, yeah. So crisis will be happening for months come, you know, like, April, May, May, June, into the July. Yeah, and then we start riding waves. The truck frequencies start to dissipate. Okay, good. All right, now let's come into more into the June, July energy frequencies. Okay, then as we start moving into more of the, okay, that's summer frequencies. Summer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So summer, I do see people almost like, wide-eyed you know what i mean like whoa what's hap what just happened what's happening that kind of feeling it's that that that's more that shocky kind of frequency shocky kind of energy frequency and then as we come out of the summer energy and we start going into the fall okay then okay what what, what is that what is that what's that okay there's an energy what is this what is this what is this is this okay is this more like a is this more okay yeah all right good okay so come fall the inner, something starts to happen. Some of the blackness starts to fade away. Some of the intensity, the shock, but there's something that gets lighter and brighter. So as the fall starts coming, then more, ba more balance, more harmony, more um, coming together. Yeah, more people coming together, helping each other, more community starting to get built. Oh, I get it. That's what's up. People really start coming together and in the in the fall. Okay, that people have been hit really hard, a lot of intense experiences, and then come the fall. Now we start finding more community, finding, you know, finding our tribe, so to speak, finding where we want to land, where we want to be, to ride out with more whatever more is coming. So it's really about community now, you know, helping each other. I'm definitely seeing more people showing up to help find ways to help with the homelessness, finding ways you know, to help those in need, help, finding ways and helping more heartfelt caring about other is happening. So that's really going to be big come in the fall, which is really good because in the fall, then we start moving towards winter and more intense times of the year where it goes into the freezing snows and weather conditions. Okay. So as I move into the, the well, winter frequency, more energies, there's still some shocky frequencies how can you show me is there more black kind oh good so real black stuff well you know we're going to smooth out a little bit in the in the in the winter in time period there's going to be a lot of good shifting a lot of more human human humanitarian whatever you want this humanitarian uh things happening more people showing up more heartfelt frequencies more caring love all of that yeah helping those truly in need so i see that carrying through in, you know, through the, the holidays into the winter and all of that coming. Okay. Now I know that, you know, people are wondering because we do have, you know, the, the frequency that's happening with w the war from um, Russia into Ukraine, the United States is starting to take, take sides, so to speak, you know, like really showing up, um, you know, the fear or anxiety of nuclear war that people, that's not going to happen. Okay. Nuclear war is not going to happen. Not going to happen. It doesn't mean that there isn't some war happening, but it's not going to be, there won't be nuclear war. So if you're worried about that, that the world is going to be devastated, through, it's not going to happen. That will not happen. Okay. Just not going to happen. All right. And yes, there's going to be more war happening. There's going to be more battles. 
whoa, what is that? What is that? What is that? China's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what's up with China? China, okay, China's going to try to get even bigger, more potent, more powerful, but it's not going to use nuclear war. It will maybe try to do threatening things. It'll be, you know, trying to scare people. Hang on with the United States. Okay, so just so you know, on an energy level, okay, let me just see if I can do this. Okay, so if, um, let's just say, that this is China right here. Okay, this is China. Russia's over here. D blacker energy. Here's China. But China's trying to get big. United States is here. It's not quite as strong yet, meaning China in some way ha has a threatening energy towards the U.S. There's a little bit of feeling of threat for the U.S. But ultimately, I see the U.S. literally getting strong and more potent and powerful and a bigger energy. And that energy is like, then it starts to back down the bigger frequencies of, the, of China and even Russia. So it feels and looks energetically like the U.S. is somehow going to get, put his big boots on, you know what I mean? And stand up and something good's going to happen with that, okay, on some level. Yeah, there's still, yeah, there's the war thing still going to be happening, but, there, but mid-year, looks like what, somewhere on June, July, somewhere in there, yeah, it's like that's where the, the, the energy starts to shift and the balance, feeling a little bit out of balance and then feeling a stronger energy frequency of the U.S. I mean, bigger, bigger, stronger, which is good. We want that, which is really, really potent, really powerful, which is um, a good thing. Okay, and then how also the like mon money things, investments and housing, and it's just going to, you know, the, the frequency is a little scattered around all that, so... Like when I look at um, the the money component of like the the investments, the interest rates, the 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 monetary things that have to do with monies, there's a lot. There's just a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hang on. What? 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 Okay. So there's something here. Okay. It's it, okay. All right. So I'm seeing it's not like it's not going to be going like giant ups, dips, and ups and downs. It's like a you know there's just like a a more of a a, not necessarily balance, but there's just a, a, a less intense, less uh, rocky. There will be spike things because there's going to be people that are going to lose a lot, and then there's only going to be people that are going to gain a lot, you know? So um, it just depends on what your soul's lesson really is. That's what it's all about. What's your soul lesson here? What are you meant to learn? What's going to kick that black? What's going to hit that black inside of you to bring it to the surface? Okay, if it's monetary, if it's money, that's what you're going to get hit. Okay, and again, it's all about write it through. Can you open, go through the emotions of whatever is arising in your world and in your life? Okay, and <clears throat> okay, so the housing thing, yeah, 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 yeah. What, 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 what is that? What is that? Okay, so it looks like housing, so still, there's still some kind of, in certain areas, there's going to be, the housing situation is not is going to be intense, meaning they're still really costly, not affordable, that kind of thing. And then there's a shift, almost not, not quite a color, but there is a shift. And then uh, and then things start to come more into more of a balance where now it becomes possible for people to to have housing and to be able to buy buy homes, you know, you, that kind of thing. Uh, interest rates, things of that nature. Uh, the actual energy of houses, something, there's a, a almost like a big old dip, like it goes darker, darker, higher, and then all of a sudden it just kind of drops and goes in more into light, more affordable, making it easier for, for some people to be able to, to, to get a home or even renting, renting a place, okay? All right. <clears throat> okay, so now remember, life is about you. You know, your life is all about you. What are your what are your soul levels? What are your soul lessons? What are you trying to understand? What are you trying to let go of? What are you trying to wake up to? And you're gonna get hit in those places that 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 cause those deep places to come to the surface. Okay. Keep in mind, keep this in mind, anchor this in. This is who you are, this is what you want. You want your light, you want your love. That's what we're all here to do. That's the soul dance we're doing. It's true for every being. I don't care who you are. It's all about the light. It's all about love and light. 
Okay. So whenever is not love, I'm reminding you again, whatever is not love is going to come to the surface so it can leave and be gone out of your body. So that's why we are in the crises that we are in. That's why we are co-creating all this intensity. That's why on a global level, it has to be this way because this is how we unravel and clear and release negativity, darkness, greed, hatred, uh, judgment, uh, all of those negative, dark, ugly feelings. Okay. The frequency of the new paradigm is going to get stronger and brighter. So as that happens, again, darkness is going to be revealed. It's going to be exposed. There are things happening in the world that we don't want to know about. You know, there's, there's dark, black, really bad, negative energies, things happening that most of humanity want to just ignore, don't even know it exists. Okay. But that's all coming to the surface. It's all being going to be exposed this year, going to be major exposure of the ugliness of the human, you know, human, uh, darkness and you know, the, the ugliness of what humans can become and what they can do. Okay. For example, like all the, you know, the, the sexual stuff, the, you know, the torturing, the, the suffering, the human trafficking, all of those really ugly, ugly things are really going to be coming to the surface, like in true form, not in conspiracy form or people talk and talking or trying to, you know, tell lies. No, the true energy, the truth of what's really going on is going to be coming to the surface. Okay. So just know that this coming year, 2023, is going to be even more intense than 2022. And remember, you're not being punished. It's not about that. It's your soul levels literally trying to get you to open your heart to the truth of who you are, that pure frequency of love and light. Okay. That's what it's all about. That's what the whole journey is about is for you to be able to show up in a way that you are now in touch with who you really are not your shattered, broken, wounded, poor self, victimization, victim myself, the poor me. No, you are not that. You are love and light. You're an incredible divine being just as everyone is. And this is how we get there. This is how we wake up to who we are. This is how we find our love and light. And it's so that we can literally be here and share the gift of who we are, the gift of me, the gift of you, the real you, the real me. Who are we really absent all of our wounding and misperceptions? Who are we? Okay. And you're going to discover that, whoa, you are an amazing, amazing being. All right. So let me just see if there's anything else that wants to present for this coming year. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to bring this to awareness. So, you, all, you know, you all have these experiences with your family, with your mothers, your fathers, your siblings, whatever. Okay. You, you shut your heart down, close your heart. Um, even in love relationships, you've been hurt. Uh, you've got all the evidence and proof why you got to uh, protect yourself. You got a belief that love hurts. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, love is not what hurts. Uh, what hurts is abandonment and betrayals and rejections and all of those, and those uh, core wounds. That's what hurts, but love is not what hurts. So I'm just going to ask you to practice no matter who you're with, no matter who you're around, remember the love because you know, like with your mom and dad, there was a time when you absolutely loved them. And then you have all the damage, wounding, misperceptions, and you think you don't love them. Many of you still do know you love, but bottom line is this, no matter who you're with, whoever you're around, remember the love. So that no matter what they're doing, no matter how you think they're hurting you, no matter how you think, you know, it's their, you know, you're, why are you doing this to me? It's never about that. You're being activated to get the darkness out. How's it going to happen? Okay. You're going to get activated. So keep your heart open. Let the energies happen. Let the pain happen. Let the heartache, heartbreak happen. Cry it out, move it through, open your heart wail it out, whatever, but be in the body, keep the heart open, no matter what, no matter what, even those, even people that you don't even know, you hear atrocities, you hear horrors, keep the heart open, keep loving, no matter what, it will help bring the, your own energy to the surface. But more than that, it will help you 
to really open the heart to the truth of who you are and the feeling of love and compassion. And that's what we want. We want to bring more and more of that love and light, that compassion, that understanding, same in you, same in me. We all want the same thing. We're all going to the same place. We're exactly the same, only different. So let's just do it our part. Keep our heart open. Keep loving, even in the midst of abandonment, in the midst of rejection, in the midst of feeling judged and rejected, in the midst of our own pain. Keep that heart open. And I promise you, something really profound and big will happen for you. Okay. All right. So, uh, that, okay. So that's, that's what's coming up. That's what we're going to be experiencing in 2023. So again, put your, put your boots on, walk through that water, walk through the, the, the tumultuous times, keep that heart open, hold the frequency of love and light and know that we're going through a major shift globally, that this is what it looks like to go, into the new paradigm. Remember, light of the new paradigm, darkness cannot live in the light. It doesn't work. In order for this to keep shining, this is going to get dissolved and it's going to go away. And that's what's happening. The light of the new paradigm shining, 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 all dark. Dark gets unraveled, dissolved, 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 boom. And then what do we have? Love and light. All right, everyone. Glad you were here. Hope you enjoy, hope you take it in and understand you're not being punished, you're not being tortured, you're not being done to you. We are waking up and we are co-creating the new paradigm and we are opening our hearts to know ourselves in love, joy, peace, happiness, the truth of who we are. All right, till next time.